five tips to help you maximize your profits this holiday season. Here's your reminder to think about the holidays right now. I know Halloween hasn't even happened. We have to give it its moment, but the holidays will be here before you know it. Stick around until the end of the video to find out how you can download our freebie guide, which includes the timeline, social ideas, and more that we're going to be covering in this whole video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Steph, an apparel expert at 613 Originals. We make screen print, digital, and specialty custom transfers for the partner you need to make any of your apparel projects come to life. Got a project that you're working on right now? Chat with us. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's jump right into how you're going to be maximizing your profits this holiday season. Tip one, get your timeline sorted and start thinking through pre-orders. Defining your timeline does two things. One, you'll have a roadmap that shows you what needs to be done and how long you have to do each task. And two, the timeline helps figure out what your to-do list is, which includes designing, ordering, and fulfilling, among other things. We mentioned pre-orders at the start of this, and pre-orders are a great way to avoid any costly waste that might happen if you are just ordering transfers and blanks at the start of the season. With pre-orders, you'll know exactly how much to make and how many transfers and blanks you'll need to order instead of being stuck with any excess inventory that you have to heavily discount at the end of the season. And you can order a little extra to hold you over just in case. First thing you're gonna do is figure out your designs. And you can do that by either outsourcing it purchasing graphics online, or you can use Adobe or Canva, whatever your preference is, you're gonna need time to do this. We recommend giving yourself two to three days to give yourself some time to figure out which designs you wanna put up for pre-order. These designs that you're making are going to be what you're gonna put up for your pre-orders. Prioritize getting this figured out so you can get your pre-orders up on your site as soon as possible. No matter what your pre-order timeline length is, if you have a week, two weeks, a month, two months, whatever it is, you're gonna wanna build hype around this drop. This is gonna help you figure out which designs are getting the most excitement and which ones you're gonna have to prepare to order more of. While you're making your designs, you're gonna wanna think through a few things, like what kind of garment is this gonna go on, whether it's a tee, hoodie, bag, whatever you choose, and what color that garment is. You're also going to want to think through if you want to apply one design to multiple garments and give a few options to your customers. Thinking this through will help you decide which formulas you're going to want to order based on the garment, specifically the fabric type, along with what color it's going to be on. So whether you're looking at full color or one color, having an idea of what garment you're going to be applying on it is very important before ordering. You can also use this time to make mock-ups so that your customers have an idea of what they're ordering. Next is my favorite part. You're gonna tease your designs on social and over email. Once you finalize your drop, you're gonna wanna start posting about it, emailing about it, letting all of your customers know that the drop is coming and what's going to be included. If you have a lot of time, one way that you could do this is by creating a reel or an email specifically highlighting each of the products. So this will create a lot of content for you that will span the entire teasing period. Always, 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 Make sure to include the location and date of where the drop will be happening so that once that countdown ends, your customers know where to go and can click the add to cart button ASAP. Once drop day arrives, you're going to want to create a social post and an email letting everybody know that everything is live and they can start adding to cart. Over the next few weeks, days, depending on what your timeline is, you're going to be wanting to continue to build on that hype now that pre-orders are open and customers have been ordering. Pro tip, since this is the gifting season, you're gonna want to include some guidance for people that may be planning to gift this to somebody and shipping it to another place that is separate from the customer's billing address. Step three, you're gonna to wanna to order everything you need, which is the most fun part, honestly. You've kicked off your pre-orders, it's live, orders are flowing in. Now you're gonna to wanna to order your transfers, blanks, shipping boxes, and whatever else you need to fulfill these orders. Pre-orders have closed, You've opened up general ordering, and now you have an idea of how many blanks and transfers you need to order. It's always a good idea to order a few extras because you don't want to get stuck with having to order more as the holiday rush approaches. The holiday season does tend to be busy for suppliers, so also keep this in mind when you need to do a quick reorder. Because we all know that last minute gifting and holiday season rush is a thing, this just helps you stay one step ahead of your competition. If you don't know what to order for blanks, 
We have a few recommendations for tees and hoodies in the description box below, so you can check those out. In terms of ordering transfers, depending on the formula, our turnaround time is anywhere from same day to two business days. We've got you covered on some last minute orders, like for direct to film. If you order before a 12 p.m. Eastern time cutoff, we will ship your order same day. DTF is one of our favorite products to use for tagless labels, which is just another thing you could add to your garment to elevate your product even more. Tip four, use DTF to add personalization options. For example, if you wanna give your customer the option to add a wrist print or a name or something else, this is a great place to do it. You can also do this for an additional fee, which is going to increase your profits this holiday season. We personally love adding a wrist print for a cute little surprise. If this is something you're going to be adding, you need to make sure to add instructions or guidelines for your customer to follow so that they are getting what they expect and you know exactly what they want. A great way to do this is to add a drop down menu for placements, like if they want a wrist print, a shoulder print, a hood. This list can be whatever you feel comfortable applying. So adjust based on what you have in your shop. Also, make sure to have some area where they can type out the specifics. If it's a name, what is the name? Or if they want an image. You can also leave your email in the description for additional customization options that you can offer at an additional fee. Once you have all the details for personalization options from your customers, you could add that all to a gang sheet and we'll print it and ship it right to your door. You'll apply them, giving an extra special touch for your customer. This is a simple way to increase profits this season while still creating an unforgettable experience for your customer. Tip five, think about how you're gonna pack up your orders for gifting. Some customers may be planning on gifting this to somebody, so adding a gifting white label option to check out is gonna be really important. Adding a gift wrap option is also going to be an additional way to add an exceptional customer service experience. One way to personalize your gift boxes this season is using DTF. You can apply DTF to the top of the box or to create an even more premium unboxing experience, you can apply DTF to the inside of the box. If you wanna add an additional special touch, you can wrap the item in tissue paper so that it feels like a true gifting experience. If you wanna add even more customization for gifting, you could also use DTF to make stationery and write a handwritten note from the customer to the gifty. Add those designs to your gang sheet and order up. And remember, if you need to order more, we got you. All you have to do is press the design on for a few seconds and you're gonna hot peel real fast. By creating a wonderful unboxing experience, you're gonna encourage your customers to want to post on social, leave reviews, share with friends and more, which is just gonna attract more customers in the future. We just went through a lot and I'm sure you're wondering, where do I start? How do I start my timeline? What should I order? and all of that. We got you covered with the freebie. We made a sample timeline that includes a packing list, some social ideas for a teasing period, and more. You can find that in the link in our description and let us know what you think. This is great to keep on hand and you can adjust for any season. Make sure to try things out and see what works for your business and adjust the timeline as you need. We also included some content ideas and email ideas along with the timeline and packing list. Those are our five tips on maximizing your profits this holiday season and how you're gonna expand your offerings for your business before the season kicks off. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you did any of the things that we talked about in this video, tag us in your posts, share what you did. We love to see your projects and we love to hear how it went for you. Check out our site or socials for more information. If you wanna learn more about custom transfers or have a project coming up, reach out to us on our site. We love to chat and help you with the projects you have coming up. Thanks for watching.